what happened long, long time ago is that your soul wanted to travel, explore, experiment, and co-create the lower planes, the lower realms. And it was fun. It was fun. There is a lot of free will as you go into the lower and lower abodes. So more and more possibilities arose of experimentation. And it reached a certain stage where in the physical plane is unfortunately the most lacking plane of God, of the source. Although it is the source, it is God, the physical plane, but it has the least amount that the forms inhabiting the physical plane experience the least amount of the love and light of God. Now, that is obvious due to a relatively small amount of beings who have realized the self, the source, God. And on a larger scale, it is seen that the physical plane has the least of the spirit of divine, the least of the spirit of God. It doesn't mean that it has none of it because everything is God divine. But in the experience of physicality, there is the least amount of it experientially. Of course, enlightenment is realization that even this stone, even this piece of glass on the road, even this crawling insect in the street is all God. It, it is made of it. It is God. But the expression of it is the least of the actual nature of God, of the nature of the source. So from the soul perspective, this is very interesting. This is very unique. Because in the divine abode, in the true home, it is obvious, no doubt, that the source itself is ever-present. It is shining so strongly that each soul knows absolutely that it is the source itself. So there is no duality there. There is no sense of any sort of sense of individuality or separation or I, myself, and the source. That doesn't exist there. It is the source. And here are these beautiful forms as a source. It is known in the Sufi tradition that the soul in the true home, in the divine plane, Every single soul is as bright as 16 suns, our suns in the solar system. So a single soul in the divine abode is as bright and intense in its light as 16 suns combined together. So your soul in its full glory and beauty is like 16 suns in the intensity of light in the divine abode. Now you can only imagine how bright is the source itself, how vast and big is it? it's infinite by its true measure. The only true infinity is the source itself. Because everything that is below, so to speak, or in other words, created, such as the physical, the biophysical universe, where you can look into the stars in front and gaze at the 
horizon and the empty space, it's not infinite in itself. It is big, many light years across, but not infinite. It is created. Even the higher planes of existence, the astral, etheric, and cosmic, and beyond, are also not infinite. They're vast, bigger and bigger. Not infinite in themselves. The only true infinity is the divine eternity. It is the absolute light of the self itself. So the soul is recollecting itself. And how does it relate to your self-realization and to what your soul is doing? Most people assume that by my own self-realization, my soul will complete everything and be absolutely liberated. That is not the case usually. Because if we look at hundreds of gurus known to mankind, we will realize that their light, their intensity, their divine abode varies to large degrees. So Self-realization, it means realizing the self. It means reopening a channel, a stream, directly to the source itself. So therefore, in your experience, you reopen this channel. One of the key channels is Amrita Nath. So we reopen the channel directly to the source. And then we experience, oh, obviously it's here. It's always been here. But it's been covered up with the veils of the mind, with the veiling structures, energetic structures, and so on. Now, that is a single most important event in your life, that is uh, no doubt. But for the soul itself, that is the reunion of the source with your conscious attention, with your conscious experience. So from the soul perspective, this is also a very important event because now, consciously, you have reunited your attention with the self, with the source itself. However, it doesn't mean that you have completely dissolved and healed and transformed and transcended all your previous experiences. And that's where the period of integration comes forward because you just remember it. You just realize that you are the self. Imagine that you've been wandering around the world and then you find out that your real country is, for example, Malta. That's your home. That's the real country. So you're happy. You know where it is. And maybe you have now got your luggages, got the flight ticket, and you arrived here but you haven't made your home yet. You still have a lot of business to do in the previous countries that you have lived. You still have a lot of business to do with your, your relationships in those countries. Maybe your wife and your kids are still in, in USA and now you just realize your home is Malta. So... As one reawakens to the self, to the full consciousness, oh, this is a direct opening, direct link, direct access. You have been granted the access 
back to the source. However, there are many things to complete, to finalize. And some of them, or many of them, are not karmic even. They are not troublesome. Maybe your soul really wants to enjoy more of physicality. So there is always a chance that it will decide to reincarnate and experience more of how it feels to be in a physical form. But of course, in, in that subsequent reincarnation, it is by choice, not by force. And, and thus, you choose your circumstances and what you want to experience. So, the nature of the soul is to enjoy creation and to learn to co-create. And that's where we have various degrees of guides and teachers and gurus and some of them are even called gods and goddesses and the lord of this and that. What that means is that these other souls have, have done a lot of exploration and co-creation. They have gained a lot more experience and expertise in terms of creation. So the journey of the soul is truly unique. And many of your beautiful souls have arrived to this earth from various places, from various dimensions, from various degrees. Thus, there is a big variety of experiences that each and one of you has, but self-realization is truly remembrance, reopening and experience that in essence, you are everything. You are the infinite true source of all, the openness for all, or Buddha mentioned the emptiness itself in which the phenomena is, but it's not separate from the emptiness itself. So you know that, but your soul is, is continuing its trajectory, its evolutionary path. I have spoken about this topic many times. We have taken many examples of gurus and famous teachers throughout the history to see what their souls are up to right now. 